G'day everyone, it's Phil here. So I'm in the Sydney suburb of Randwick and I'm going to be filming some trees. I'll explain. Sydney is in progress of um, constructing a new light rail line that will go through Randwick, through Sydney City and to Circular Quay, I'm pretty sure. And as a result of uh, the light rail construction, some trees that date back to the late 1800s will be uh, cut down. Some of them already have. There's actually said to be about, um, I think about 330 trees that um, will be cut down. Some of these already have been cut down, so I'm going to show you um, the trees in question. I'm not sure what ones exactly will be cut down, but um, I'm just going to show you anyway. Some will um, have survived and, yeah, I don't know. We'll just see what we kind of run into because I haven't been here before. You can see some of the trees up there, but I'm just trying to find a way around to them. So I'm pretty much just walking alongside Anzac Parade, or close enough. So it's a CBD and Southeast Light Rail. So this video is just to document these trees as I do understand from what I've read over the past few months. Uh, these trees do mean a lot to people in and around Sydney. So yeah, I'll just document them to sort of keep memories, so to speak. So this channel can also be like an archive. So I'm pretty much branching out from abandonments for this video, so to speak. I know, I know, that was a lame joke. Alright, so as I said before, I'm not sure which trees um, will be knocked down exactly, but um, it's just the sort of tree type that I'm um, kind of documenting. So there's a sign there saying the fencing around these trees is for protective purposes. These trees will not be removed. And there is this big guy here. Okay, so I'm, so I'm now on Anzac Parade. Some of these trees do have sort of orange ribbon on them. But it does look like the light rail is being constructed over there a bit more. So these are the trees that will be staying. But just around the corner on Allison Road, uh, I know that there is now pretty much open land where a lot of trees have been felled. But it is sad, these trees have been here for well over a hundred years and it sucks that it sucks that even some have to go, so...
So I'm going to continue walking until um, Allison Road and show you all where um, some trees have already been cut. Yeah, along here, I'm pretty sure it was along this road where there was a lot of things wrapped around a tree saying in it, like a protest, sort of saying save the trees and whatnot. Um, as you can tell, there's a lot of marks from where um, things were wrapped around. Same thing here. Yeah, apologies if my voice does get a bit too loud at times. I'm using the um, microphone that's on my on the headphones here uh, because it is quite windy. I don't think this little tree um, date back, dates back to the 1800s, obviously, you know, Captain Obvious, but I'm not too sure what the or orange ribbons are for, whether it's um, for trees that are supposed to be saved or no clue, no clue. So here's the last couple here, and just beyond that there is a fence and just beyond that fence is where about two or three of these trees have already been cut and uprooted. So yeah, there used to be about two or three trees, pretty big trees. Now I'm just going to go to the left up here, which um, will lead me onto Allison Road. Just before turning off onto Allison Road, it looks like there's an area where another tree has 
been uprooted, I'm pretty sure. Yes, sadly enough, and also here is a disused busway. <laughs> well, I think. <laughs> if it's not disused, that could be an abrupt end to the video. No, it should be right. A little bit of information about this uh, disused busway, or temporarily disused busway, is um, yeah from Friday the 1st of April 2016 until further notice due to works associated with light rail construction. The bus stop will be closed and just um, information about the bus routes. So yeah, it's not a completely disused busway. I'm not going to go too much further. Um, you all pretty much get the gist of what's happening, but I'll just see what's behind this fence. I'm pretty sure it's where um, there is sort of open land where a lot of trees used to be. I know some of you probably think that, you know, he's just making a random video about trees or whatever, it's just pointless crap, but. Um, from what I've read, these trees did slash do mean a heck of a lot to um, local residents and all that stuff, so I'm just sort of documenting things that have been happening. Yeah. So from here right down until you can see a crap load of trees down there, um, that's where a lot have been cut down as well. So yeah, pretty much all I can show you all. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Well considering and yeah thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video bye